Two and a half years ago, I got my first look at the Serena Shades Smart Shade System with the standard honeycomb shade. Now this shade blew my mind because it just took a few batteries and it was able to open and close daily and it was very silent. And then it integrated with the Caseta Smart Hub and the Peak Remotes and that entire system. Now a quick update about that, after two and a half years, I never had to replace the 8D batteries. I did have a low battery symbol in the app, but they continue to operate until we moved out of the house. Now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Serena Shades Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shade. So this is a new design, new patterns, new style that Lutron has come out with. And thanks to Lutron for sponsoring today's video. Now typically the first step when ordering your Serena Shades is to pull out the tape measure and do all the measuring yourself. But in today's video, we won't be doing that because in order to order the Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shades, you will need to request a consultation from the Serena Shades website, and then budget blinds will come out and they will do all the measuring for you and they will get the order in. So today I'm just going to be showing you some of the different styles that you have available. Now a few changes they've made to the Architectural Honeycomb Shades is the first thing is the bracket. When you install this, there aren't separate pieces that you need to install and put together so there's no light leak at the top of the shade. Uh, I know that putting that original backing on my first honeycomb shades was a bit of a problem. The next thing is they have lengthened each honeycomb cell. So it is now a three quarter inch cell instead of a nine sixteenth cell. So it has a much more modern look. And then there are 40 different styles available. So you can have light filtering, blackout, and totally different designs depending on what you want in your home to give it a real customized look. Mine have already arrived. So I'm gonna do a quick install and then I'm gonna show you how to get them set up with the Caseta Smart Hub and other features that you can use with the new Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shades. So here is the new backing that it comes with. So it's all in one piece that's going to sit flush against the top of your window. And then as you can see, there will be no light leak coming in from the top. And then here at the top, you have two slots for 6D batteries. And so this will pop down. You can easily change those and put them back up. Now, because the new bracket is metal, you will need to pre-drill the holes. So here I'm going to put the bracket in the right position, put marks for two screw holes, I'm gonna do this on both sides, and then I'm going to use my drill bit to pre-drill both of those holes. I'm then going to vacuum up because there's little metal shavings around, so that just makes it so you don't make a mess. Next, I'm going to measure and pre-drill the top of the window so that I can put the bracket in easily, and then here I'm going to do the satisfying peel of the plastic on the back. And then I'm going to place in the four screws. And here we're going to hook the front onto the two brackets there. And then snap them into place. And then to add the batteries, we're gonna push both of these to the right and pull them down. And we can easily do that when we need to swap them out as well. So Lutron does recommend Duracell or Rayovac for your alkaline batteries. And now we can snap this back in. You'll hear a click on each side. Now we're going to pair this to the Caseta Smart Hub. We're gonna head into the Lutron app, tap settings, and then tap add device. And then we're gonna to go to shade and blind, and the middle option here is honeycomb. Now for this, we just need to wait till the little LED right here starts flashing green. At that time, we're gonna hold down on the button for 10 seconds until it rapidly flashes, then it will pair with the Smart Hub. It now is connecting, so I'm going to go to Other, and we're gonna call this the Den. And we're gonna give it a name, we're gonna do Den Right. All right, now let's go ahead and add the other shade. Now, if you cannot get it to pair, you will need to factory reset the shade. And in order to do that, you're going to tap one, two, hold. And then let go, and one, two, three. And when it flashes red and green like that, it has been reset. And then you will be able to pair it. If it's still not working, you may need to get a Lutron repeater to extend your signal in your home. 
Now that our shades are connected to the Caseta Smart Hub, we can go and adjust our upper limit and lower limit. These limits are what allow the shade to close exactly right as well as open exactly where you want it to. Now you can do this if you just pair a Pico Remote to the shade, but I do recommend pairing it to the Smart Hub as then you can do it all within the app. So here in the app, I'm going to go to the shade and I'm going to tap edit device. So I'm gonna tap on there and then we have set shade limits. So first we have the upper limit. So this would be where it closes. So I'm gonna tap upper limit, and then it gives me two little arrows to adjust if I want it to close at this distance or adjust a difference. So you can see there's a little bit of gap here between the cellular shade. So I'm gonna tap up until that kind of goes away. All right, I think that's perfect. That looks really great. So I do have the option to test the limit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and save that limit. So once we have that, now let's go ahead and close the shade and do the lower limit. Now for this limit, it kind of depends on personal preference. I like to listen to when the bottom hits the window seal as well as when the motor stops. So you could have it raise slightly. So here if we go up. So there I had to do it a few times before it actually moved. So Let's go up one more or go down. So right now it's not touching the bottom at all, so I could have it there, but I think I'm gonna go down one more so it's resting on the window sill, and now we're going to hit save. And that works pretty great. Now there are a few more ways in which we can make this smart. One is to connect them with your favorite voice assistant, whether it be Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, or Apple HomeKit. Now I'm gonna make a full video that you can click on at the end to go and learn how to do that. But for now, we're just going to set up different schedules. So I want to create a schedule where they automatically open and close each day. So here we're going to schedule an event. We're going to call this morning. And then we're gonna have this go every day. And let's say we do this at 8 a.m., okay? So that's the time that this is going to start. Choose the shades we want to affect. We're going to have it open the left and right shade. We're going to select done. All right, that has been scheduled. And now let's go ahead and schedule another one. And we're going to say evening every day. And here we're going to choose sunrise, sunset, and then let's say an hour after sunset, it then closes the shade. So this will automatically adjust depending on the date and time of your area. So this is nice that it's going to stay open with the sun and I don't have to worry about it and then it will automatically close all on its own. So now we're going to select next. Here we're going to choose the left, make sure it's closing and the right make sure it is closing. And now it's going to program that to our system. Now what's really cool is these schedules have been programmed to the smart hub, not just the internet. So those will run even if the internet is down. Now you can use the app to control the shades, but my favorite way is to use a peak remote. So here in the add device section, I just need to hold down on the close button for 10 seconds. It will then pair to the app. And here I'm going to place it in the same room as I put the honeycomb shades. Here I'm going to select that we're going to be controlling the shades. And now whenever I use the remote up or down or even setting a favorite position, it will control both of the shades at the same time. Next is to add the Pico remote right next to the light switch so that anybody at any time can use the manual controls. And then after that, we'll set up voice assistant. So to put this by your light switch, uh, I'd get the Pico remote. And then I like to pick up the wall plate bracket. This allows you to easily align it next to your light switch and then you can get a faceplate with a Decora cutout so that you can then have it fit nicely and it looks really seamless in the home. So let's put that right over there. And since we are placing this right on the wall, we will need to pop out this little back plate. Just like that. And now we can pop that out of the Pico remote and slide it in. Now I'm going to align this and mark where it's going to go. Now we're going to add our wall plate. All right, and now right by the light switch, we have our Pico remote where we can control our new smart architectural honeycomb shades. Now the button in the middle is the favorite button. So if you adjust the blinds to kind of a favorite you like to do sometimes, once you have that position, you hold down on this for 10 seconds until you see the light flash, and then it will set that favorite 
I've already set it at about halfway up. Now that everything is ready to go, let's go ahead and close these and you can hear how they sound and the speed. Now compared to the roller shades that I've tested out before, these do go a bit slower, but I love how in sync these are when they open or close. And here you can see just how much light they do allow into the room. Now these are just the light filtering. If you do get the blackout, you wouldn't see the sun at all when those are closed. And then here you can see that when they close, it gives you complete privacy. You are not able to see through these because they are light filtering. It just allows the light to come through. And so it can prevent anyone from seeing inside your home. Now I also really like how the honeycomb shades are a little bit wider and they have the multi-layer added to the window. So if you have a room that just gets really, really hot because of the sun, this would be a great addition to that room because when you close them, it's able to kind of hide the sun and keep the heat outside so the sun is not coming right into the room. And then I also like how that extra thickness adds a little bit of privacy on the side. So it just feels like more of a wall versus just a window covering. It gives that really nice thick feeling to it. Now, according to the Serena Honeycomb Battery Life chart, a shade that is this size, which is three feet by about six feet, the battery life could last up to four years if you open and close it every single day. So of course, the less you use them, the longer the battery life is going to last. But even if you're opening them, I think it's two times a day, so fully opening, closing, opening, closing, they could still last up to about three years, which is just incredibly impressive for a battery life power shade. They are the best at being able to do that. So overall, I'm really happy with the new Smart Architectural Honeycomb shades. I think they did a great job increasing the length of each cellular shade so that there's not quite so many lines on the window. And then I love how they introduced a new backing system so that there's no light leaking from the top of the shade. That was something that did start to bother me on the last set of honeycomb shades that I did have. So overall, I'm really happy with the updates that Lutron has made to the Serena Shades Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shades. So if you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I've made a ton of other videos here that you can see about Lutron products and how they can benefit your life. So make sure you check those out. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.